just like that, we're back where we started here at WOW Car Wash in the 2023 Tesla Model 3 Performance. We're gonna take it on a quick FSD beta drive to Chipotle. Let's go ahead and hit the road. All right, we're back FSD beta 11.4.9.2024.2.2.1 version. Navigate to Chipotle. We're gonna take the extended route, 14 minutes, 5.8 miles, FSD beta V11. We're definitely waiting for V12. Where are you, V12? Will we ever drive again after we get the version 12? I wanna say 95% of my driving is on beta. It takes away so much fatigue. You can really drive for much longer when you're using the, uh, the beta. All right, let's get out in the open road and then we'll activate it because we all know V11 doesn't work too good in the parking lots. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump out here and activate it now. We're going to go ahead and put it in minimal lane changes this time. Keep it on assertive. So it looks like we're going to be hopping on the highway, do a quick highway drive. Actually, Let's go ahead and put it in again. Hopefully, navigate to Chipotle. Hopefully I can get this in there quick enough. Actually, it's looking like I'm gonna miss it here. Let's see, navigate to Chipotle. Ooh, a little fast around those cars. So right now we're just in beta without any navigation. It's, it should try to keep us going straight. And we are going quick, kind of weaving around. All right, Chipotle's entered. Now we definitely are not gonna take that route. It looks like we're rerouting, there we go. Actually, I kinda like this route. Let's go ahead and take this route. It takes a second, so while it's sitting on this screen, it hasn't actually uploaded into the system, and now it's on the car. I have noticed sometimes trying to update the navigation on the fly, it doesn't make the turn quick enough because it actually didn't get sent to the car yet. But we are set. We're going to be taking the left of this light. Looks like we have a protected left. Maybe. Oh, we're not taking the left of this light. Oh, oh I'm, going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and give it throttle here. The car behind me kind of went a little bit too close. Beta was going to stop for that yellow. But when I looked behind me, the, the truck was wanting to run it. Now we do have a left blinking yellow. First car's going, I got my hands near the wheel. No traffic behind us in this lane. Right, we got quite a bit of traffic, so beta, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel there, because beta definitely is not ready for this yet. It'll start jerking the wheel and just scaring everybody, but as soon as we get clear, I'm gonna activate it again. All right, we're back in beta. I'm gonna give some throttle to go. And she's going off the throttle. You know, right now while beta has these little bugs, what I do is I use beta until I get to certain lights that I know it can't perform too well yet. I'll just disengage, go through the turn, and then kick it right back on. So it almost feels very seamless, but you definitely have to kind of know your area and how beta does on certain drives. It's pretty uh, consistent when it comes to the same behaviors on the same roads. staying a little hesitant behind these cars turning wanting to stay behind them kind of braked pretty good there I didn't give it any inputs although I wanted to give it some throttle just to keep it going at that pace now we do have a green light this car is hesitating in front of us 
human driver, human beta driver. Now this is the same light we were on the other day that it it actually locked the brake. Now we're in the turning lane only. Let's we should be in let me I'm gonna go ahead and arrow over to the right lane. But this is this the light where it, it stopped and we had to give it some pedal press to to keep going. Let's see if it does it again. Now they have the protected arrow arrow in the left lane there. I'm glad I moved out of it. It looks like uh, Beta's handling it fine this time. Maybe because we're not front front of the line. Now Beta just crossed over like nobody's business. The good news is that no one was in that lane because it was a turning lane. But Beta didn't even arrow. <laughs> Where's our blinker? It was definitely smooth like, like a human would do. There's discount tire. They still have my wheel, the 20 inch, waiting for that tire to come in. Kind of getting hesitant. Now we need to stay in the middle lane. Got hesitant with this car pulling out. Just kind of driving like a scared driver almost. You know, a car comes out, oh no, what do I do? Or yeah, very hesitant. Got the green light. This car wanted to turn for a minute. That must be another human beta driver. Had their blinker on in the straight lane. Love the old fire truck here. So cool. Now on these roads, we got kind of some farm style roads. So lanes are opening up. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up here. It dropped us down to 25. Although I didn't even see the 25 sign. It must be just for residential areas. Full stop at this four-way. Back on is slow, kind of merging into the middle. Looks like we got a right turn here, coming up. I like the tra trajectory here on this lane, closer to the median, very good. And we don't have any stop sign, right turn. Ooh, pretty hesitant, pretty hesitant. I'm gonna give it some throttle, just push it through. There was no stop sign there. It, it kind of wanted to stop, like, but there was definitely no stop sign. Now this huge road with almost no markings at all, Beta's handling it pretty well. Got a left turn coming up. Wow, what a wide road. Now this left turn does have the stop sign, so that should help. Although we're trajectory the wrong way, we need to be in this left side, kind of in the middle. So it looks like we might be taking the left turn from the middle. Uh, very good, they pulled out quick, barely stopped, I like it. Now it's Beta's turn. And we're going. Not too bad. It took it kind of wide, but that was actually a good good move. Now again, we're on this wide road, almost no markings. You kind of have like a faint shadow of where the lane should end. A little hesitant. Good performance though. wide. Beta didn't even hesitate to that. I got it, got hesitant. I saw him cross over the line. They corrected quickly though, but Beta's handling this very well. I know it seems like so simple, right? But just driving on a straight road with all ADAS is a huge accomplishment. Alright, we got turning lane coming up, beta's 
creeping over slowly. Very good. Oh, don't get in that turning lane. It almost wanted to. Nice smooth deceleration to the light. All right, we've got the green light. Bait is pulling out slow. Traffic's beating us to the right. Still a little hesitant. It picked up a little with the middle of the street, but still just cruising out slow. I like the motions that V12 is doing where it pulls out and it just goes. It just feels much more efficient. Smooth stop or turn. And I'm gonna give it a little throttle because we can't really see past that truck. Push it through. Oh, broke, breaking hard. I think it was for that 15 mile an hour school sign there. I did see a light up blue here. Now to make our left, we gotta hop into the left lane here shortly. Let's see if Beta can pull us into the parking lot. So we're going to want to veer to the left. And we have the island opening up here shortly. No traffic in front, so this should be able to pull it up. Pull it into this tight spot and in. Very good. All right, Beta got us into the parking lot. It's cruising through nice and slow. We still have it set to 40, but you can see Beta's acting. It knows we're in the parking lot. Probably driving slower than I would drive, 15 miles an hour. Very cautious, good speed, but I don't think anybody drives that slow, even though it's recommended. All right, slowly going through. So far, good path planning. Even though it's kind of short on the path planning, it is heading straight, not too much motion going on. All right, now it's got our arrow, hopefully for the stop sign. Okay, it is for the stop sign. Keeps wanting to pull a little bit closer to these curbs. All right, and we're stopped. Now we're stopped, and we're going very, very slow. kind of navigating through this parking lot slow. I think I'm gonna cancel it right here. All right guys, and that's gonna wrap it up for this Chipotle drive. We're here in the burrito loading zone. We're gonna do another highway drive on the way back. So stay tuned and we will see you on the next one.